afternoon, everyone, and this is Jared Rand, and welcome to the guided global meditation call for 3 p.m. Eastern, November 9th, 2018. Think about, as we all know, as we all identify, that what a most of humanity spend its time doing, and that is pursuing happiness and pursuing, you know, going after it and trying to um, find it, I guess you could say, find it. And what we do is, is we have a tendency to it's a habit because that's all we've ever known. But we reach outside of ourselves all the time. You ever notice it sometimes through life, and you can pick the moments out when you're really joyous and you feel really good, but there's a forebodance that comes. And the forebodance says, this won't last. This won't last. And remember, we're, we're all, we all have participated in that. This, this won't last. Where you're in a, a very enlightened energy, where you're happy, you're joyous, things are just flowing. Take that moment, knowing that it's coming from inside you, and imagine that that is constant. See? It's not sporadic. Like, you know, we've been taught, oh, this is not going to last forever. Oh, you know, the, 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 the better, better, better take advantage of it while you can because it's just not going to last. It's not going to last. We've heard that. We've heard it for our whole lives. But our bliss our joy, our happiness is constant. You see how we've been separated from this. You can see how, and it's always a good thing to concentrate on surfacing and expanding this energy. This is what you are. And I could spend hours and hours talking about that, but this is what you are. You are always in a state of bliss, a state of joy, and a state of happiness all the time. It never ends. It never wanes. But you see how your mind plays a factor, and the mind is, is powerful. So, it, like I've talked about, it plays this factor on convincing you, your ego and your mind, now, you know, it won't last, won't last, okay, which is a lie. It's a lie because it always is. It's never not. It always is. It's never not. So you begin, I mean, if you sat and you just were silent for, say, 15, 20 minutes just by yourself, and just doing nothing, thinking nothing, being just very calm and quiet, no outside interference, and watch what happens as your joy will bubble up. It'll surface. You can count on it. Now, when we allow ourselves to become angry, that all goes down the tubes. A block, big wall goes up, an iron wall. And we are separated from our joy, our bliss, and our happiness. We're separated from it. We stomp around and we get angry. Something doesn't go our way. Something happens. Irritates us. Somehow the day just doesn't seem right. It's because our heart mind isn't right. So, and nothing is required from you. Nothing is asked of you for this joy to just naturally come up from
from your being. And all you all you do is you just bask in the bliss that is already present in the moment. Bask in the bliss. It's just like you know, you're just laying out in the sun and just taking it all in. You're just absorbing it. It's if that's what's in every moment that we exist. Think about that. Every moment we exist. And as we master, as we become the masters, and we realize what and who we are, you start to you start to look at this matrix, this false world that has been just lambasting humanity forever is insignificant. It does not serve humanity. It never has. Can you honestly say to yourself that I'm so happy that this serves me? No, it doesn't. You would be lying to yourself. So this, you don't wait for happiness. You are happiness. You are bliss. You are joy. All the time. I want to just scream it from the highest mountain. Humanity, all the inhabitants of this planet are bliss all the time. They're in happiness and joy. Now look at how twisted this world is. Now, as we fall in to our understanding and our deep eternal love for ourselves, we affect that shift to all of our brothers and sisters. You affect it. You, put, you engage it. You never run out. You're never drained of it. It is you. It's not like something you fill up and then you drink it and it's empty, it's gone. No, it's always there. It's an endless vessel. It's infinity. It's infinitesimal. And it expands whenever you choose. That's why I always talk about the heart-mind. The heart-mind. You come, you, you, you are projecting from the chest up just under the neck. Just, 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 uh, uh, just above this, you know, the sternum, you're projecting this loving, blissful, joyful, happy energy of which you are. You're like this big ball of light, this beacon. You could be a small ball or a big ball. It's up to you. And it just pulses out. You can see the waves just hit, just penetrating everything. And you see the frowns go to smiles. This is what we're striving for, for this human condition, this human race, this civilization, this inhabitants of the planet, to be in that structure, to be in it, and to experience it all the time, without fail, all the time. Being in the bliss, the joy, the happiness, it's just absolutely paramount that we embrace this, embrace it, and share it. But actually, we remember the golden ocean. We're all in there. We're all connecting. We're all embracing. We're all in deep eternal love. This happiness, this bliss, this joy, you will you will never change it. It is always you. So if you will, go to the place where you're not going to be interrupted. And relax. And as you relax, as I talk, just go limp. Just drop your shoulders and Remember, you're operating from the heart-mind, and you are feeling your bliss, your joy, your happiness.
happiness. You were totally relaxed. And you begin to breathe through the nose and out the mouth. And as you breathe in, you're going to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and you're going to exhale. And you want to do this about six times. As you inhale through the nose, you're inhaling divine positive energy. You're inhaling the wake-up call to your divinity of pure bliss, happiness, joy, and peace. So you're just you're opening the windows and you're letting the breeze flow through. We're all enlightened beings. We complete the circle with becoming enlightened while in the physical. See? It truly shows us that we are one. And as you do this, and as you breathe in, and you're relaxed, you can feel your bliss. You can feel your joy and your happiness emanating right from the heart mind, right from the center of your chest area. It is pulsating. Your joy is absolutely at the top of the top. It's almost overwhelming. It is so wonderful. As you exhale, you're exhaling the separation. You don't, the separation is a construct. You, you don't care to entertain the separation. It keeps you from your divinity. It keeps you from who you are. The separation is eliminated. You drop it. You let it go. You breathe it out. It's expelled. It no longer separates you from your higher self, from your spirit, from your God's heart. You remember, you are all goddesses and gods, all of us. The God-man. And you're floating. The joy. Remember your best joy in this life so far. This is a thousand times more than you are. So... We now go in through the heart mind. And as we go in right through the chest area, we go in through the heart mind, we go we go deeply, softly, and we and we elevate up. We go deep and up, deep and up. And as we do, we find ourselves completely encased in a perfect sphere of the most beautiful, warm, and saturating lights of the golden white pink light of prime source creator God's deep eternal love of Archangel Raphael's intense, powerful, green, healing, emerald, flaming light and the violet ray, the cleansing violet ray, cleansing and strengthening, the purple transmuting flame and the white fire completely encasing you and saturating you and energizing you and mingling with your bliss. You are totally protected. And the only thing that can penetrate your sphere is deep eternal love. And you see your higher self, you immediately embrace your higher self, hugging and joy and blending with one another. And as you do this, you're in communication with, we're in communication with all of our higher selves and all higher selves that we wish to communicate with that we ask for permission to communicate with. And as we flow, we begin to join arm in arm, hand in hand, and we form our circle of divinity. And as we form our circle, we begin to float up. And as we float up, softly, carefully, we call upon all of the archangels, all of the angels, all the seraphim, cherubim, and archetypes of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. We 
we call upon all the light beings of all dimensions, all universes, all galaxies, all existences, who are of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love, to join us in this meditation. We call upon all of the ascended masters of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. We call upon all of our loved ones in this life and all lives that we have inhabited of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love, all of those who have passed to join us in this meditation. All of those from inner earth and hollow earth of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love that join us in this meditation. All of them. All, all of the fairies, the sprites, the gnomes, the elves, the unicorns, the pegasus. All of them. Of deep eternal love, from deep eternal love to join us in this meditation. We call upon all the galactics. All of the benevolent civilizations who are assisting and aiding in this ascension process of planet Earth and the inhabitants of it, of deep eternal love and from deep eternal love, we ask them to join us in this meditation. We, we see our meditative sphere it has been hovering above us, floating and, and shimmering and glowing and vibrating and embracing us with all of our meditations that are in perpetual motion. Full of deep eternal love, full of the green healing light, full of the purple transmuting flame, full of the white light, full of the violet ray. We feel the rain saturate the crown of our head. It warmly saturates, it sinks in as if we are transparent it embraces us and it clears everything crystal clear and we begin to pulsate and our divinity our highest self opens up the gate for us to send and expand our bliss, our true bliss in the now, in the moment, our happiness, our joy, our love, our deep eternal love, our caring, all of this blending while we're in our physical form. To be transparent, to be aware, we're touching all the inhabitants of the planet. You can see it wave out. You can see it flick, fl flickering and glittering and glowing as a mist descends upon all inhabitants throughout this planet inside and out. This bliss, this joy, the blending, the embracing, the tenderness, the care, the nurturing that we are spreading. Understand this is a constant. It's no longer hidden within. It is all outside of us. We are projecting it from our divine God to self. And it is continual from this day forward. And you must remember that. It is, it is imperative that we remember this, that we hold it front and center, that we embrace it, that we continue to expand it out in, in joy and bliss and happiness and peace and prosperity. All of these things that we are, we are now open with all inhabitants. And you can see this pulse out. You can see the myth saturate. And it's beautiful. It is glorious. And we are one. And I'll join you in the meditation, and I'll be back to close this out.
all the time to remind yourself within that you are bliss, your happiness, your joy. Imagine that, c containing everything, the total essence of what you are, when the whole time we were trained to seek it outside of ourselves, to seek it elsewhere, to chase, to grab, to manipulate, to destroy. It, it is crazy silliness when we are already all of those and so much more. So it's, it's just wonderful. It's just absolutely exuberating. And I can sense all of you and I can sense that energy. And it's like we can reach out and touch it. And we do. Because we are. Correction on the time call for the Olympic Arc information call is this Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific time. 6 p.m. Eastern time. 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, that will be on the Zora Blog Talk, the Zora Hollywood Blog Talk radio line. And uh, again, this Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. And from the highest high, from Prime Source, Creator God, from Father Mother, we send to all of you, each and every one of you, the deepest and the greatest and the highest eternal love and the bliss, the joy, the happiness, the reminder of you knowing who you are and what you are. And to 